Welcome aboard the East Bay 60. So we start off with our double grill setup back here in the back, insulated box on the port side, just like the two way Grand Bank 60. Super setup, nice wide platform right here. You can have three rails across, you can have a dinghy lift back here, and then come on up to the back. Large, spacious cockpit, big city, nice big table here. You feel the 1902 beam in this area where you can really enjoy it. There's other chairs out here and stuff. We have the deck coming back this far, but you can on this one, but you can have this extended all the way to the back as it goes through from the top itself. Or you can have our stainless steel rigid top, or you can do a removable bim. Either one, you have all three options. So you can see how the nice wide side decks are easy to transit. All our boats are this way, so you can head right down the side. The rails easy to grab, very simple. Just like all Grand Banks rails, you can't move it. Very simple side door right at the helm on this East Bay, an East Bay tradition. And then you come forward, rail follows you right up. Beautiful four deck here, sun pad here with backrests on the top. This one has our optional bow rider option in it. We do this on several of our models. What a great spot to be able to you know, have an additional spot to ride. We've got a nice canopy that goes over this. So if we're riding around the intercoastal or, you know, just anywhere, it's just a wonderful thing. Adults, kids alike love this spot. So as you go back down this side, it's going to be the same way. On both sides, we have Nietzsche of rail gates, so you can board an app on the two platform or at the rail gate. We can add other ones, you know, if that's something you would like depending on your docking situation. The rails you see out here are composite and they're painted. We do teak, we do this, or we do faux teak. It's all your choice. Three big lazarettes out here. This one's huge. This East Bay model has stand-up engine room. It has two steps up, so it provides headroom that's just over my head. It's a lovely setup. And if you haven't seen one of our engines, come talk to us about seeing the side. It's unbelievable. Docking station out here at the port side. And then we step up and we enter the boat. And we step up and enter the boat. In this boat, we have our popular galley aft option that really just ties to the cockpit. This window drops, one of our trademarks, uh, and you just you just have this extension to the two. <clears throat> we have a con con uh, conduction cooktop, uh, dishwasher, three different sub zeros in here. The galley can be set up any way you want with the materials that you know or, or, or you'd like to have. Cabinets drop like this for easy access, or you can open them on the top side. Really, really simple. So, large salon forward of this. Again, you can really feel this 192 beam. Um, you can do this in several different configurations. I don't think this is the only way you can do it. Uh, if perhaps you think of the galley being in a different place, we do galley forward, we do a beautiful galley down, and then we can set the salon up however you would want, and that layout still works with three state rooms if you like three state rooms. It's beautiful. So coming forward in this boat, you get co-pilot seat to port, pilot seat to starboard, along with, you can see the door again on this side. Just a beautiful helm. This, this, this boat, like all of our boats today, have the semi-displacement V-warped hull. This V-warp technology means this boat's gonna ride almost dead flat. You can see just like this, and you know, just when you're running at any speed, 20, 30 knots, and just like all of our boats, we're all about efficiency. So this boat at you know 18 knots might burn less than 30 gallons an hour. It's an incredible number. If you see the stats on this boat and you go on one and you look at it on the GPS, you'd just be floored. I know I am floored every time I go on one. If we look at this boat, you know, running more like a, a troller speed, eight knots or something like that, it burns like seven gallons an hour. It's beyond imagination. How can we be like a Nord having and how do we do this speed at the same time? Well, I don't know. It's our semi-displacement V warped hull. Come try it out or talk to me about it anytime. So, feel back, look back here. These windows are big. You can see all the way around. It's beautiful. There's a sunroof above us here on this one. You, you can opt out for that and just have two hatches above here. It's your choice. And the port side has an opening window, just like the aft one. So tons of ventilation and light. If you want, we can do this exactly the way you might like to do it anytime. Sunlight, some skylight over here, which is over the master. So when you come down, your master, is midships, it's off to the port side. There's only three steps down in the whole boat, so I can see the transom from here. So when you come into this room, beautiful. 
and sweet head and shower. This particular one has stepped down into a dressing room with hanging lockers down below. There's other varieties that have hanging lockers across here and it expands the third stateroom that we'll look at in a few minutes at your choice and gives a third head there. All of these things are a choice in the build and we'll build it exactly the way you want to build it for your use. So lots of natural light in here. You can see why the skylight's there now when you look up. <coughs> and then, you know, whole side porch let in more natural light. It's a large, generous head with stall shower on this side. Beautiful stateroom. And really easy to transit the boat with only those few steps. So there's no up to the pilot house and down. Again, very similar layout that we offer on our GB60, but you know we're using the same hull form in each of these boats. It's the presentation. This is our Down East Express, um, you know, presentation, and of course the Grand Banks uh, motor yacht style, tower style is our you know historic brand that we've had since 1956. Awesome. So VIP stateroom. Gorgeous, right? And all of our boats now, the berths are down low. There's no big steps up the side. There's no big headbanger up here. It's really simple. Now you can see where that forward seat impedes a little bit up here. So it's one of the choices you'd make whether you wanted that seat or not, whether that is any kind of bother or not. But it's up to you, all for what you want to have. Um, lots of drawers, lots of lockers, just a beautiful room. I'm 6'2", there's a ton of headroom everywhere you go. It's beautiful everywhere you look. So when you think about, say, one of these East Bay 60s, you know, it comfortably cruises in the mid-20s, effortlessly. So last but not least, the third stateroom. So if we step into this room, there's one large berth up here at the top, and behind the door, there, <clears throat> there is a stacked washer-dryer set up that is just fantastic, right? You can use the bed to laundry and stuff but that's just great to have on board so you're self sufficient that way now we have kind of a separate single cabin just down a couple of steps there the berth is is just lovely very large comfortable for a large adult but it gives two separate spaces without trying to make it over under or even just right next to you it works great for kids too they love it so today in a new ordered boat we've expanded that berth so that it's about two feet longer or wider than what's there so then it becomes a true beautiful double and if you really wanted to, you can have that so that you can transit to the opposite side of the boat there and have the third head opposite that. So that would give you three heads, three staterooms together in this beautiful East Bay 60. Thank you very much from Steve Fithian at Grand Banks Yachts. You open the aft deck hatch, right? It's a huge glass rack. And this is dangerous to the engine room too, right? So we just take these few steps down into the area. This is where your water maker would be. This is where other equipment gets stored. This boat's three seasons old and this is where this customer keeps all of his equipment. You can see how deep, deep it is here in the video. I'm gonna head the other way through this watertight door and head into the engine room. And after transiting the door, I can come in and I can stand up in this one. So here we are. This boat's equipped with Volvo IPS 1350s. So these are 1,000 horsepower Volvos. So our power is always a choice in all of our boats because the fuel tank, which is right up here, is always dead center. Our engines are always right behind. So the shafts, which in this boat are carbon fiber, go back to the pods. If you would like shafts, the shafts go straight up the back of the boat and it's a shafted boat. You know, I'd say they sell 50-50 and how, you know, how, how people purchase them. For us, it doesn't matter which power you want, we just want to please you. So, as you look around, you look at how the wire runs are, how the hose runs are, how the finish is in here. Well, it's just like the rest of the boat. It's incredible. Who has an engine room that looks like this? <laughs> it's incredible. And it's not just, you know, that it looks like this. This is just how the thing is, boat is put together. It's just state-of-the-art, highest quality you can buy, best equipment you can buy. This is why we work for Grand Bank Shots.